Okay, here we go. Welcome back to some more Rise of the Tomb Raider. Hope you're all doing well, having a great day, great week. So we are still here in the Croft Manor. I uh, just got the crowbar. And we're continuing finding clues and stuff. Before we do, I just want to see something. This light switching on is ominous. No, you can't use the crowbar to open it or get out of here. Okay. I wish there was a sprint. Okay, so there's a document over here. It's over. I have done all that I could, and my Amelia is still cold and dead. Roth first scowled at my designs. Then he pleaded with me not to go through with the ritual. Not because he feared it might work, but because he feared what I might do when it failed. And it has failed. There is no doubt in that. I prepared everything according to my research. When I dropped the stone into the elixir and held it to her lips, I thought for the barest moment that it had worked. The hour was midnight and my pocket watch stopped inexplicably. There was a charge in the air like the moment before a lightning strike. For a heartbeat, I imagined that my life was being drawn from me as one empties a glass in order to be poured back into Amelia. I would have welcomed death if the last thing I saw were her eyes, clear and alive again. But the moment passed. Amelia is still dead, and I was no Orpheus. We will return to the manor and lay her to rest. I owe her that much. Yeah, he, he thinks about how it's going to feel for him, but how's it going to feel for her if she, like, comes back to life, wakes up, and he dies? You brought her home. She's here, somewhere. Yeah, I wonder if he put her, like, in a glass case or something and continued his research for immortality to resurrect her. Father here, luckily saw it. My love, it is silent, so peacefully silent now. Even after the madness and chaos of the crash, I can't help but still wonder at the beauty of these mountains. I understand the magic that drew you here. Please know that I feel no pain in this moment. Only immense sadness. Sadness that I couldn't see your smiling face once more. That I'll never meet the wonderful woman that our daughter will become. There is so much to say, but I'm tired. The sun is setting. The cold of night will overwhelm me. I know I will fall asleep soon. And likely never again awaken in this world. I'm scared, Richard. What lies beyond? You know I've always struggled with faith, so... I'm holding on to yours for now. I'm holding on as best I can, my love. Become the father Lara deserves. Know that I will live on. In her. And that is terrible, but kind of surprised that she was able to write and like have a note and pen and whatever and an envelope and everything ready. Mum faced death alone. She was so brave. Ooh, look at that. Almost missed it. 
Dad's Tibetan scroll. I remember he used to pour over this late into the night. Way to hide his findings. Whoa, this is cool. But is there anything I can click on? I don't see anything. I know the thing in the wall, but I guess that's going to progress it. I don't really understand what's the use of that light on other than just showing you what's written here. an inscription this is the croft universe our knowledge is to the east our respite to the west our future is to the south our past is to the north okay our past to the north could there be something else beneath the manor? Destructive as always. Where am I now? But since we do have the crowbar. Hi, Dad. So I know I only just returned to school, but when can I come out to the dig site again? It's just so boring here. We're doing all the stuff I already read last summer. I always end up staring out the window and thinking about our expeditions, and then I'm yelled at for daydreaming. I promise I'll be good and not disturb you and just work wherever you tell me. I just miss it, Dad. And I miss you. That's sweet. Oh, I do have a map. Woohoo! <sighs> now I have to go back and find all those. Stuff you couldn't do with the. Oh, that's the music thing. Okay, so just bear with me while I go and try and find the things that need the crowbar. I might cut out some of it.
Well, that feels pointless. Yeah, we got one. Lord Croft is resolved to seal the west wing of the manor. I try to talk sense into him, but he will not be swayed. And to make matters worse, I believe his experiences in Tibet have only further fueled the fire of his obsession. He's now up at all hours in his study, researching God knows what. And poor Lara, she is so confused. Too young to understand the tragedy that has befallen this great house. My dearest hope is that Lord Croft will emerge from his grief and embrace fatherhood and the love of his daughter. But I fear he may give in to his obsessive nature, that which Lady Amelia tempered in him so well. In any case, I will be a rock for young Lara. She will never sense tragedy and sorrow in me, only the love and support she deserves. I am pretty sure I missed one, but I found those two with the one note in the servants' quarters where the chessboard is, with, where she played with Winston or Wilson. I think it's Winston. But then you get here to the main hall and down the stairs, and there's the place for it. Our knowledge is to the east, our respite to the west, our future is to the south, our past is to the north. Nope, the doors are not allowed. Oh, it's this thing. Like I said, I've been walking past it. Listen here, if you listen. Now, what are you supposed to do here? Oh, there. <laughs> Poor man is never going to be the same again. a sort of crushing finality to grip me when we return to the manor to lay Amelia to rest. Indeed, once the last of my funereal duties were performed, I fully believed that I would crumple to the ground next to her and expire, not from grief, but succumbing to the terrible exhaustion of the last few weeks. Instead, as the mausoleum stone slid into place, I felt a sort of peace and energy. One that I confess caught me entirely off guard. This was not the terminus of our story, and I was a fool to think so. Her body may be gone, but her spirit still resides here, in the manor, in me, in Lara. Her soul is forever twined with mine, and death is just a momentary interruption. I walked out of that cold quiet into a sunlight that burned my eyes, and I have never been more sure. Death is not the end, and there is work yet to do.
Interesting. My God, can it be? Dad, you did bring her home. That's cool. Sorry, I can't zoom in anymore. Lara, it is difficult to write this, knowing these may only ever be words on a page to you. I wonder if you will remember my voice. Will you remember the way we used to play and laugh? Will you remember me comforting you when you were sad? Know that I'm still with you, Lara. My energy, my love, it's within you. It always will be. Use that energy to pursue your passions in life. Never let others determine your journey. You become who you are through your choices, through the love you give and the promises you keep. I hope you are happy, that you are loved and successful in whatever it is you choose to do. I am proud of you, my darling. Remember me with all my love, your mother. Well, that's interesting. And she's got a new outfit as well. Hmm? My only thing is this, um, I have not gotten everything, so I don't know if you get it when the thing completes, otherwise I might do uh, another video where I have looked at the walkthrough to see what I've missed and where to get it. Lara, I have received the notarized affidavit confirming Amelia's grave and the discovery of the burial crypt within the manor premises. While I can't fathom why your father would hide your mother's fate from her own family, I cannot deny that any legal claims I may have had on the estate are now null and void. Croft Manor and the remainder of your father's assets are now yours in perpetuity to do with as you wish. If there comes a time when you require assistance in managing the estate, I hope you will consider contacting me to retain my services. Sincerely, your uncle. I've been so focused on defying my uncle, of fighting to keep his hands off this manor, that I never realized how much this place actually means to me. But since I've been here, I can feel the presence of my mother and father. I sense the entire history of my family and the deep roots we have in this place. I want to honor my parents. I want to honor all of my ancestors. The Croft family may be all but destroyed, but I will make our name and our home great again. Cool.
Well, you can run around and get what you miss, I think, it looks like. But okay, this is where I'm going to end the video. Um, pretty cool. Uh, that message from my mother was awesome. That was a very nice letter and encouraging and how she said she loved her. So be well, have a great day, and see you in the main story.